Hi, I'm Victoria Woolley Perry with Perry Properties at Sotheby's International Realty, and I'm in my downtown office with Dan Schluffman, Manhattan real estate attorney and mortgage broker, for one of a series of videos about the legal and financing aspects of buying and selling residential Manhattan properties. And today's video focus is on hiring professionals for first time home buyers of Manhattan co ops and condos. Dan, if a first time home buyer doesn't yet have a real estate broker and they meet with you to speak with you about your legal services and ask you about a real estate broker, please explain what the buyer needs to know about this. Yeah, so what a buyer should know about hiring someone in Manhattan or Brooklyn is that you want a real estate agent who's experienced in dealing with co-ops and condos because most of the market in these areas are co-ops and condos. And a real estate agent who's from the suburbs or who's not done a lot of deals in Manhattan and Brooklyn is not going to necessarily be able to do the best job for you in the Manhattan real estate market. There's a lot of nuances with the, the board packages, with dealing with the board, with dealing with the other agent. That's not the same as when you're dealing in a, a residential house setting. So tell us how you help buyers uh, both as an attorney and as a mortgage broker. Okay. So as an attorney, the, the job of a real estate attorney on a co-op or condo transaction is to first explain the process to the potential buyers, then to go through the due diligence on the buildings. Because when you're dealing with a co-op or a condo, you also have to do due diligence on buildings, which we'll discuss hopefully in detail in another video. Mm -hmm. um, also be with them throughout the process from contract to closing as it was. Um, and that's as the attorney. And then as a mortgage broker, what we do is we help them with their financing. We help them put their financial position the best way they can. We help them with the documents. We help them get them through underwriting. Mm -hmm. We deal with co-op and condo issues that come up all the time in these type of deals. And we get them approved for the loans and then we clear them for closing. So we work hand in hand with the real estate attorney, which actually works out well when it's me, and also right. the uh, real estate agent so that they can put the best package together and help people get where they want to be. Great, good. So you know what's going on at every part of the process. And as a buyer's agent, my consultation includes helping the buyer know the difference between a co-op and a condo. Um, how do you help first-time home buyers with this? Yeah, so we do, this, we, we do a similar thing on the legal front. I explain the differences, which again, hopefully we'll do in another video if people are, will tune in. But there are the main difference between co-ops and condos are co-ops are considered personal property, condos are real property, co-ops have an approval process, and the condos have a waiver of first refusal. So, mm -hmm. But there's a lot more to it, and, but I do discuss it with the uh, first-time home buyers and make sure they understand it. Well, thank you, Dan. Um, again, all Dan's information is gonna be in the description below. Uh, stay tuned for our next videos. Thank you for joining us. I'm Victoria Woolley Perry with Perry Properties at Sotheby's International Realty. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Perry Properties at Sotheby's International Realty, and hit the bell notifications button so that you'll be alerted to our videos about New York City real estate, local business, and community events in Manhattan. Thank you.